Hi boys and girls, I have Minnie here today to help me and to help you. Oh, okay, bye Minnie. <laughs> um, I have Minnie and myself here to help you make a rain stick out of stuff you already have at your house. So let's get the supplies you're gonna need. Um, for starters, you are gonna need a paper towel tube. Um, you could also, if you wanted to make a really big one, uh, use a wrapping paper tube. It's an empty paper towel tube. You're going to need three pieces of foil. Um, one that's about 10 inches long. And then two of them that are longer. I think mine are about 14 inches. Um, you will also need some rice, about a third of a cup, um, or however much you want to, to rain. A funnel, if you have one. If not, you can actually make a funnel out of paper and just twist it. We'll talk about that later. Um, you're going to need a wooden spoon, a broom handle, <clears throat> or um, I'm actually going to use my recorder, just something bigger around than your wooden spoon. And then tape, scissors, paper, any kind of paper that you want, and something to write with. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your paper towel roll and put it on your paper standing up. Draw a piece draw around it to make a circle. This is why I'm not an art teacher. Even tracing doesn't work very well. Make a circle and then you're going to make a bigger circle around it. You need two of these, one for each end of your paper towel. your circles, you're going to cut out the bigger one. All right, when you have your two big circles cut out, you're then going to take your scissors I'm going to draw a line here so you can see better. You're going to cut into your circle around and then stop where your small circle is. So you're going to end up cutting kind of like this, okay? Both of your circles are cut out. You're going to tape them to only one side right now. It's kind of hard to get started, but once you get the first couple on, you'll be able to do it in no time. So I have one end of my tube, and the other one we're going to save for later. Set it aside. Alright, so your next mission. You need to make your foil into rings like this. I'm going to make a swirl. So, take your small piece of foil, crumple it up, roll it up until it's super tiny, like a little piece of string. Okay, just like this. Then you're 
you're going to wrap it around your wooden spoon or whatever you're using as your smaller thing. my small one. Then you're going to do the same thing with your two larger pieces of foil. So now I have three different swirls. These are going to go inside of the rain stick. This is actually how it makes the sound. So it's very important that you have at least two different sizes. Mine just happened to be three. Totally okay. So whatever your biggest one is, you're going to take the next one and put it inside of one. Um, just kind of move it around until it all works together. This creates different pathways that the rice is going to go through later. So this is a very important step. Then you're going to take your smallest one and put it inside of the last one. Once you have this big old foil swirly, you can take it and put it inside of your rain stick. You want to make sure it's about the same height. Alright, then the one part you get to put your rice in the rain stick. If you want to check to see if you like how much rice is in it, keep your hand very carefully on the bottom. Flip it upside down. And then go back. You can always add more or less rice if you want it to sound like more or less rain. Once you like how it sounds, you can add your last circle onto the top. There's your rain stick. After you have both ends sealed up, you can decorate it however you want. Maybe you want to color it with markers. Um, I'm going to use some rainbow duct tape to make it pretty at the end. And there you have it. Your homemade rain stick. All right, give it a try. Maybe take a picture of your final rain stick or send me a video of how it sounds. I would love to see them. See you later.